Good morning and welcome to Your Daily Sparks. You know, I read recently of a story of a woman who uh, for years was married to a harsh husband. Each day he would leave her a list of chores to complete before he returned at the end of the day. Clean the yard, stack the firewood, wash the windows, wash the dishes, etc, etc. If she didn't complete the task, uh, she would be greeted with explosive anger. Uh, if, she, if she did complete the task, he was never satisfied. If those windows aren't clean enough, he would always find inadequacies in her work. Well, after several years, this harsh husband passed away, and sometime later, the woman remarried, and this time to a man who lavished her with tenderness and adoration. One day, while going through a box of old papers, the wife discovered one of her first husband's lists. And then she realized, as she read the street, she realized with great joy, as tears rolled down her cheeks, she realized, I'm still doing the same things and no one has to tell me I do them because I love him. This is a unique characteristic of the kingdom of God. Its subjects don't work in order to get to heaven. Christianity, you cannot work to get to heaven. You can't do stuff to get to heaven. They work because they're already going to heaven and because they love him. Arrogance and fear are replaced with gratitude and joy. So whatever you're doing today, even if it's hard, bear in mind you're doing it for your king. You're doing it for the king of kings. You're doing it for your father. Do it with love. You might do the same things you did before, but you do them with love. And it's a different joy that comes to you. God bless you. We'll see you tomorrow in Sparks.